this video series where I will talk about tips, tricks, and workarounds for Android phones, or in specific for Samsung phones, as I happen to own one of those. Today I will talk about the Samsung software update notification and how to get rid of it. Usually, people don't mind about this notification as they want official Android 7.1.1 Nougat update. However, the phone became very sluggish and slow after the update. Even navigating through the app drawer or unlocking the phone didn't happen without stuttering. So I downgraded again to the latest Android 6.0.1 version and everything is smooth again. With downgrading, however, the permanent notification of an available update popped up and was annoying me. Whatever reason you have to downgrade or not to upgrade, if this notification also is annoying for you, then you are in the right place. Let's start with the solutions. Now as far as I remember, as soon as you downloaded the system update and didn't install it, the notification is truly permanent. Some people therefore suggest to do a factory reset, which deletes all personal data on the phone, so make sure to make a backup before you do this, and after resetting it, they suggest to go to the settings, then to about device on the, on the bottom, and untick the automatic update option. However, after doing this, your phone will nonetheless check if there are updates just without downloading them, and then it will notify you from time to time, and always when you go into the settings app, there will be an annoying prompt on the top. The settings icon will also have the number one displayed, as it shows that you have an unread notification. Therefore, in order to get rid of this, we need to get a bit more advanced. Before doing any of the solutions that I will discuss below, make sure to back up all your personal data and be ready to do a factory reset on the phone. I will talk about the risks of all the solutions in detail, but do all those steps at your own risk. I will also talk about what steps are safe and which ones aren't, but nonetheless be prepared to have to do a factory reset. The first solution that you should try is to go to the Google Play Store and download an application called BK Package Disabler in brackets Samsung. Note that this method requires a Google account and two euros 59 cents of Google Play balance as this app costs something. You will also need to download the plugin BK Plugin 2 for the app to work. Once you install both apps, open the BK Package Disabler app and search for software. You can then take the box next to the supposed two results to disable them. Now, in general, don't play around with this application. Disabling something with this application might render your phone useless without doing a factory reset and losing all your personal data. On the internet, I found a solution to disable the com dot ws sync mldm i found the other one as well and disabled it additionally i don't know if the second one is necessary though or if it can be ignored if your phone becomes useless check out the end of this video for solutions on that samsung is very quick with checking for available updates so it is very likely you already have the notification on your device in this case the notification will remain after this solution the second solution is a follow-up to the first one and is where it gets tricky and maybe dangerous. I didn't try this, but if you click on the software update, another prompt will open and you could select to clear data. At your own risk, you could try to clear the data and maybe the notification will be gone. Maybe it will be gone after a reboot of your phone and maybe the notification will still be there. Theoretically, the phone could also be broken at this point without a factory reset. This is not very likely, but I guess possible. If the notification is gone, close the app, keep it installed, and you are rid of the notification permanently until your next factory reset, should you ever do one again. If this solution did not help you, you can try to root your phone as a third solution, which will void your warranty. And then you could try other package disablers. I do not provide a solution for routing here though, as this is very risky. Also, it's different not only from phone to phone, but also from device number to device number. Instead, I will give you another solution, the fourth one. 
If the first and second solution and routing did not work for you or you didn't want to try them, go for solution number four that will work and it is the solution that worked for me as well. Make sure to create a Google account prior to this solution. Also, purchase the app BK Package Disable for Samsung and install this app and the BK plugin too. Then download an app like App Backup and Restore. Use this application to backup the BK applications, both of them, which will create two APK files. This is the preparation required for this fourth solution. What we need to do here, just so that you understand what is going on, is to prevent your phone from checking for software updates. It tries to do this very soon after starting your phone into Android for the first time, and therefore you will need to immediately disable the service. Creating an account and downloading these apps would be too slow. So once you got the APK files ready and saved somewhere else than the internal storage of your phone, you're ready for this solution. Do a factory reset of your phone. This will delete all your personal data and everything you stored on the internal memory of your phone. After the factory reset, the phone will start into its initial setup menu. No need to be quick now, as your phone won't check for updates yet, even if it says so briefly. Set up your phone in this first menu. Also log into your Wi-Fi and log into your Google account. Once you are finished with this and you get into the regular Android interface with your home screen, immediately disable all internet connections, that is Wi-Fi and mobile internet. Then you got time again, as your phone can't check for updates now without internet connection. Go into the settings and into about phone and untick the automatic download option. Then get your BK package disabler APK files that you backed up before and install those two applications by finding them in your file browser and clicking them. Once they both are installed, open the BK Package Disabler app. It will tell you that an internet connection is necessary to verify your account and whether you purchased the app. Activate your internet connection and be quick again. Once it checks your account and goes into the next screen, Disable your internet connection again. If it prompts you again that internet connection is necessary, just repeat this process. Soon, the app will be opened into its interface. Disable the internet connection again. Now you do what I described in solution one. You search for software and disable the two software update results that the program found. Once you did that, close the app, keep it installed and you're good to go. Your phone won't check for updates, even tapping on the manual software update function in the settings under about phone won't open or react at all. Alright, this is how you get rid of the software update notification or how to prevent the notification from coming up in the first place. If you tried the clear data option or clicked something wrong by mistake and your phone is broken, won't react, won't start up or anything else, Try to boot your phone into safe mode and either delete and reinstall the package disable app or activate what you disabled. If this doesn't work, go into the recovery mode of your phone and clear the cache. Or if this also doesn't work, do a factory reset from the recovery. How to boot your phone into safe mode or recovery mode can be found on YouTube or Google. It is different from phone to phone. Alright guys and girls, this was it for this video and see you next time.